This is cheers to the deadlift. Hey guys, and welcome back to the science of exercise. In this video, I'm going to cover all things deadlift from different variations. So for instance, the sumo versus the conventional deadlift. I'm going to cover the muscles involved. I'm even gonna go over some of the common mistakes during the deadlift. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, go ahead and stick around. Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the deadlift. All right, so up first we're gonna review stance. First is going to be conventional. It's gonna be about shoulder width apart, maybe just slightly wider. Now, if you have seen the squat video, you can review how we find general stance. Up next is going to be hybrid. This is slightly wider than our conventional stance. And lastly, we're gonna review sumo. Sumo is about two times shoulder width with the toes turned out about 30 to 60 degrees and you will find what's comfortable for you. So 30 to 60 is a rough estimate. Now we're gonna review grip position. This is gonna be called the double overhand or pronated grip. This is the most common grip. Next is going to be alternated. You will see this in some competitive deadlifters and can be advantageous, but there are some negative outcomes and potential for bicep tears. And lastly, we have the hook grip. The hook grip, the thumb will wrap underneath the barbell while the pointer finger and middle finger will wrap over top and lock into position. This is considered one of the strongest grip positions for the deadlift, although there is something that you have to be mindful of and it can be pretty painful. So it takes time to build up that pain tolerance with the hook grip position. Hands are gonna be about shoulder width apart as said before. Now we're gonna review head position and back position. It is a hinge, the deadlift, and you are going to be driving those hips down and back. We wanna make sure we take a nice big in-breath to brace. So you take that big in-breath, you drive that breath down into the bottom of the stomach, eyes are in front of you, head and neck will follow the trunk as it comes up. All right, now we're gonna review setup. Setup, we wanna make sure the bar stays against the shins to start. We make sure the hamstrings are nice and tight. We drop those hips down into position by using the barbell as a lever. So we're actually kind of pulling those hips down and back, driving those shoulders down into the back pockets by retracting and those scapulae and downward rotating those scapulae. From there, we drive those feet down and into the ground while keeping that trunk rigidity. Sumo is very similar. The only difference is the stance we have to drive those knees out pretty wide. So you're gonna feel those adductors get pretty tight. The other thing is our chest is gonna be a little bit more upright. The barbell is going to be closer to our hips to start with. We wanna make sure that we drop those hips down in position by pulling on that barbell, kind of like a lever. And then we drive those legs over top of those toes, driving out using those quads, chest up nice and tall. Again, shoulders down and back. Boom, exploding through, bringing that bar to the hip. Now we're going to go over some common mistakes. This is called hyperextension. This is overextending at the top. Here we don't have great position at the bottom of that deadlift. We're rounding too much in that upper back. We didn't create that rigidity. We did not pull that slack out of the bar. So a common mistake when you don't pull the slack out of the bar is upper back rounding. So you can see again, if I don't pull that slack out and I don't keep that chest upright, that upper back wants to round. We wanna make sure that we keep that pelvis in a nice neutral position in relation to our torso. Again, you use that barbell as a lever to drive those hips down and back. What happens is when we don't create that solid lever, those hips you can see wanna shoot a little early if they start too high. So we gotta make sure we again, pull those hips down into position. Hip shooting too early is common with quite a bit of shear force with the lower back, especially during the conventional deadlift because again, those that bar is a little bit further away from the hips. So we wanna make sure that we keep that chest up. We drive those legs into the ground. It's a push and a pull. 
All right, now we're going to review the four major muscles or groups of muscles that are involved during the deadlift. The first one is a big extensor of the hip. This is the glute maximus. Now, we also have adductor magnus as one of the major extensors of the hip, as well as adductors. This works as a synergist throughout the movement. We also have the hamstrings, which helps as a hip extensor and a knee flexor during the deadlift. And then last but not least, we have the quadriceps group. Those help extend the knee specifically during the concentric phase. Additional muscles to make note of would be the stabilizers in the back. These would include the lats, the erector spinae, the core musculature, uh, along with the traps as well. What they do is they help keep the back in a nice taunt position, helps you stay nice and tall, especially when the barbell is trying to pull you down and in. So you have to kind of counter that using the, that musculature, which helps stabilize throughout the movement. This quarantine is killing me. Got to put on a hat, make myself look halfway presentable. You did. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. So barbers need to be essential uh, to all the barbers out there. Miss you. Got a new microphone, learn how to use that too.